every planet's story begins with our realities, our collective stories, our actions and the consequences. Every climate movement began with the people, with our resources, our livelihoods, the action plan, and the devastating stories of human action. Our climate stories focuses on our people and the contributing work of organizations, leading the groundwork in contributing towards the fight against climate change. In the Gambia here, we could say all coastal communities are at high risk because the coastal community I'm referring here are the one uh, you know next to the Atlantic Ocean, starting from Banjul all the way to Katong. These are the main uh, uh, coastal community that we are talking about because they are at risk because they are close to the Atlantic Ocean, and we know uh, the Atlantic Ocean uh, you know have a huge wave, you know, which is a risk to coastal community that are below uh, sea level. Uh, so that being the case, and if you understand the Gambia uh, uh, geographical elevation, it also so that most of our coastal community are below sea level. So that being the case, uh, it also poses a risk to those coastal community. So uh, we could say Banjul is one, and then we could also say Fajara is currently facing huge significance of erosion right now. But uh, it's lucky that uh, uh, there is a lot of um, you know uh, rocks around it that is at least you know uh, trying to serve as a buffer. But in some years to come, you know, if something is not done, I will believe uh, you know all those areas might be seriously be uh, you know eroded. After COP26, yes, we are uh, uh, before COP26, we finalized our vision, climate change vision 2050, which we have submitted to cabinet for adoption. Now we are developing the strategy to implement the climate change vision itself. It will also go up to 20, 2050. Now the consultants are working, they have submitted the first draft. If, if there is a review of, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the team, the core team. And uh, after the review, then uh, we, will submit it, uh, 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 we will submit it again to them for input of that uh, document. So what I can say is that after COP26, we are developing our long-term strategy to implement our climate change in Vison. So along the coastline, we have noticed that there are several changes when it comes to coastal erosion, when it comes to pollution, and other, uh, other factors which are still unknown because we found or we are finding a lot of dead organisms within the coastline, and all of that is caused by some of the changes that happen along the coastline. So as a research institute, we are working on that. And these are some of the changes we have noticed so far. Climate change is really affecting the fishing industries in the Gambia, especially along the river Gambia, because due to sea level rise, which caused intrusion. Like most of the fish along the river Gambia are able to adapt to fresh water, but due to this in intrusion, change the chemistry of the water, and then therefore most of these fish have to migrate, or some of them start dying. So, and also again, the pollution aspects along the river Gambia also affects the health of the, of the fish. And then also the fish meal factory also is a, is a big problem to our um, fish industry in the Gambia because they um, eliminate or excrete their waste into the ocean and then it affects the chemistry of the water and then that causes a lot of bycatch along the shoreline. So these are the, the main factors or, or, or the observation we have seen happen along the, river, the, the coastline and also the river Gambia. To combat climate change in the Gambia, the Ecosystem-Based Adaptation Project under the Ministry of Climate Change, funded by the Green Climate Fund, seeks to develop a climate-resilient natural resource-based economy with the aim to restore 12,788 hectares of degraded forest and 3,000 hectares of farmland to increase resilience of rural villages. Oh, our effort to really uh, restore the ecosystems is to bring in more climate-resilient trees and uh, ecosystems, uh, trees that we know have been around for long and they are not likely to go away anytime soon. So that part of it. And we are also building on uh, ecosystems that we know will, have, will find it more favorable to survive. So for instance, mangroves, 
happens and the area that is on the mangrove would continue to grow as long as we have rising sea level you know and uh, salt water intrusion so we are then saying okay let us focus on uh, restoring or reforesting mangroves you know i do not know whether i have i can identify one when i see one because most of them don't come in as refugees sitting on the border uh, most i believe uh, based on my experience are those who find comfort and opportunities to living in the gambia and they come unnoticed and eventually find a nice place or find a good villager who can help them with the land and they work on it